Appreciate you. Up next, from Cincinnati, we've got the very funny Giles Chickering. I should give it up to Duncan. We, uh, we had a nice conversation. Duncan and I, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I just got here too, so it's not, it's no big deal. Everybody's here. We're going to watch the show. Then what? <laughs> what you guys got going on after this? This is my first time, this is my second time in this area. One time I came here to see Slipknot and I got COVID. <laughs> that's, that's the only, I was like, oh yeah, Noblesville. Other than that, I haven't, I haven't really been around in this area. You guys got like a Hooters around here or something? What are we, what are we doing after this? I like to get, I, I'm kind of partial to Hooters. I like to go there and have a, a dry t-shirt contest whenever I can. It's pretty good. To, what it's, it's just me in a large booth by myself. And then I order 50 hot wings. And then I try to eat them before I sweat through my own shirt. So... <laughs> It's a totally normal, cool thing to do. <laughs> and on the way out the door, I, uh, I leave a $5 Regal Cinemas gift card as a tip <laughs> to thank everyone for their participation in my dry t-shirt contest. It's, a, it's cool, I'm a fun guy. I like to have a good time. Man, <laughs> I guess I just got here because <laughs> my brain is just not working at all. Um, I know they got some snacks out back. And that's cool. I uh, need to load up because, uh, you know, I can't use my air fryer at home right now. My, my mom keeps it locked up ever since the incident. Yeah. I don't know if anyone here has ever tried to take your own life by sticking your head inside of an air fryer. But <laughs> turns out, unfortunately, it doesn't really get the job done. It's, uh, it more so cooks your head evenly and finishes it with a perfect golden crisp. <laughs> so, those are some of the lessons in life I guess you just have to learn on your own. <laughs> I don't care. No, no, I... I... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what's funny is that I also believe that until you said that. <laughs> I mean, I, I had all the confidence in the world. <laughs> No, I'm no, I'm, I'm cool. I'm uh, doing all right. I don't live with my mom. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she lives with me <laughs> because I need her to. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't live with my mom. I'm a functional adult. Okay, <laughs> things are going well. <laughs> no. no, I. Uh, Here's, here's something you'd be proud of. A few months ago, I purchased a home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope that me losing my job soon has nothing, will not impact that in any way. But it's fine. We'll get to that later. I got a home. I'm very excited. I'm trying to set up in there. I got the whole house. Um, I'm trying to figure out like how I want to kind of lay it all out. And I've I've kind of been thinking about putting a man cave into my house, you know, like cool stuff, HD TV like that, you know, it's, that's exciting stuff. But the thing is that uh, I live alone. <laughs> it's like I don't really need to escape from it. Like I can pretty much just do like a whole man house <laughs> situation, you know, like man cave. They'll get like a, you know, like a pool table or a dartboard. But like I have a man house. I can just rip full strength slap shots in my foyer. <laughs> my, my drywall looks bad. <laughs> a lot of problems in there. You, know, you get a little man cave, you can watch the big game on like a flat screen or something. I live in a man house, you know? I'm watching hardcore pornography projected <laughs> on the exterior of my garage door. <laughs> I'm just sitting there in a lawn chair. <laughs> Just, just killing it in my man house. Nice. 
like man cave, you'd be like, oh, no kids allowed. But in my man house, there are no kids allowed within a thousand feet because of the, <laughs> because of the pornography <laughs> incident. <laughs> the judge is very clear about that. It's actually, uh, it's actually crazy that I'm here right now because I'm technically under man house arrest. <laughs> Whatever, man, it's fine. No, no. I'm not a criminal. I'm, <laughs> I'm just a wacky boy that's wearing a sweater that some of you don't like. <laughs> I saw you looking at it when I came in here. Some of you have just set into a jealous rage, and the rest of you are like, why would someone put that on their body? <laughs> but that's just life, you know? I don't know. Folks, I get into a lot of trouble with my man house. Sometimes I get in trouble just in general. I uh, actually got a few tickets for street racing last year, which is pretty impressive when you consider the fact I don't have a car. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty hard to do. I was uh, I live in Cincinnati, and you know all summer I was just out there every night, going up and down Main Street in a pair of denim shorts with no shirt, just pulling up next to cars at red lights, being like, "We doing this or what?" And that light turns, and I just run. Very slowly. <laughs> Not an athlete. I'm a comedian that was built for oversized sweaters. And arresting officer was like, this is the first time I've ever issued a moving violation for someone not in a vehicle. I was like, I know. I'm like the Flash. <laughs> and he's like, no. You're like an idiot. <laughs> no problem though I don't know I don't even have to worry about it. it's uh it's it's hard not having a car because I you know I am a car guy I uh you can tell <laughs> you're like this guy what's he twisting wrenches every weekend probably now I uh you know I used to used to put all sorts of cool stuff into my car I used to I used to have a 97 Eagle Talon which, which is the most powerful car because it's named after the sharpest part of the coolest bird. <laughs> was, that car was cool as hell, man. I had fog lights and a fog machine installed on that car. <laughs> a lot of people called it counterproductive, but I looked like a phantom when I rolled down the street. <laughs> Sick. I, uh, <laughs> right before I lost that car in... I guess what some would call a coin flip in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> I guess what some would call the worst gamble of all time. Uh, I had just installed a passive aggressive horn, which and I, if you've never seen one, it's pretty, I would pull up behind people at stoplights in my Eagle Town, and if they waited too long, I would, I would slap the horn, and it would be like, <clears throat> If I held it down, it was like, uh, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> uh, please go now. <laughs> I missed that car. It's, uh, it's hard being a comedian without a car because, uh, you know, I just got banned from Greyhound after the ride up here. It wasn't like, it was not, it wasn't like a big, the, the driver caught me blowing kisses to people on the street <laughs> as, as we were rolling by. And the, dri the driver is like, there's nothing illegal about what you're doing, but it's, it's not helping our image here at Greyhound Bus Company. <laughs> and now I have to go back to Peter Pan. And I just realized as I said that, that's probably a regional bus reference that <laughs> people that didn't grow up in New England wouldn't understand. <laughs> Wow, I guess we all just learned something this evening. <laughs> that Peter Pan is a regional bus company, <laughs> perhaps located mostly in the Northeast. I'm from New Hampshire, and um, I wish I had a joke or a transition about that. <laughs> I wish I had something interesting to tell you, but uh, no. <laughs> I wish I weren't lying so much up here. Like I just, I have a house and a car. Oh. I know, I know. <laughs> and like both of them are just like fine. <laughs> I don't know, my car 
The only weird thing about my car is that I removed the driver's seat and I replaced it with a Bowflex. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get shredded on the way to gigs. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is the best and worst I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> and by the time this is over, you'll all feel the same way. It's the type of... Things are getting weird up here. <laughs> I, I, I feel like you're with me and against me at the same time. I'm gonna try something a little wacky up here. Don't, don't be afraid. Just, it's kind of a dialogue that I'm opening up here. So it's all right. Is every, what do you, when you're not, hold, all right. <laughs> Here's the thing. That's why I wear the sweater. When you guys aren't at this thing right now, in this moment, what are you guys thinking about? <laughs> what do you got going on up here? Because I'll, I'll let you... Does, does, there, does everyone remember the musical group? The band, Black Eyed Peas? You remember them? They did the Super Bowl a couple years ago. People didn't like it, and that's fine. Big game this weekend. Listen... Everyone remembers the band Black Eyed Peas? Yes. Okay, all right. We've covered that. We got that. Okay. Does everyone remember the other guy that was in the band Black Eyed Peas? No. No. Cunt? Will I am? He was a guy. He wasn't the other guy that was in <laughs> Black Eyed Peas. Does anyone remember the other guy that was in Black Eyed Peas? Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right. I'm going to catch everyone up here. There was another guy in Black Eyed Peas, and his name was Apple D. Ab. And he was... He was just, hold up. Yeah, his name was Apple D. Ab. He is Apple D. Ab. I believe he's still alive. And Apple Diab is a small Filipino man with a balding faux hawk. <laughs> and he, he's not Fergie. He was the other guy that was in, <laughs> that was in Black... And he's not William. <laughs> he was the other guy that was in Black... All right, does everyone kind of know who I'm talking about now? Yes. Okay. I spend most of my time thinking about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> every day of my life <laughs> and that is the entire reason I brought him up <laughs> just to share that with you and the thing about this joke is it's over <laughs> isn't that crazy <laughs> it's so funny when I walked in here before the show started I felt like a third of you stare at me and I was like what do they think I'm some sort of psycho and now now I seem to be on some sort of mission to prove you all correct. <laughs> I just hope you guys think about me as much as I think of Apple D. App. That's, I guess that's kind of my whole goal of what I, what I got going on up here. I, uh, I foreshadowed this earlier, but it looks like I'm going to be needing a new job soon. Because <laughs> my boss is like, you can't keep talking about Apple DF <laughs> every day. And I'm like, it's the only thing I want to talk about. <laughs> now, I, uh, I need, I guess I'm going to need a new job soon. And it's crazy starting a new position because like you get into a new job and you're like, really, you're like, yeah, I want to really prove myself and I really want to bust my ass. And then you just, you let off the gas a little bit for like, 28 months <laughs> and then all of a sudden no one wants to hear you talk about black eyed peas at work anymore <laughs> but uh i don't know it's it's a little scary because uh i mean number one i bought the man house so you know my savings are a little messed up from that i also didn't quite get cryptocurrency so i, lo I lost a lot i tried to buy a lot of crypto very late 
and I, I ended up buying 300 cases of Crystal Light. <laughs> Which it turns out no one else has done. I, I Googled it, and it's, I mean, fortunately I got to enjoy the refreshing taste of Crystal Light, but, but the, those assets are not increasing in value. I, it's, everyone was so excited about, uh, you know, investing money online over the pandemic. And I like, you know, I fell for it too. Uh, do you guys remember the app Cameo? Yeah. It was like, it was a couple people. It's like, it was this app that came out in like 2020, 21. And basically you went on it and you paid celebrities that you were just so certain were dead to say happy birthday to your cousin. Apple, Apple D app probably crushed it on Cameo. That guy is probably a billionaire at this point. Um, I saw that app and I was like, this is the best thing. I have to sink all of my money into this. And I didn't even buy any stock. I just kept paying the property brothers to kiss each other. <laughs> I, I just couldn't stop doing it. Now, fortunately, they did deactivate my account. <laughs> Thank God they did, because I, pay, I, I probably paid Courtney Love $300 <laughs> trying to hire her to murder me. <laughs> and, and someone caught wind of it. They, they cut me off. Man. <laughs> I can't believe how well this has gone. <laughs> for you, for me, for everyone. I mean, it's just, I'm not going to forget this. I know you're not. I guess in closing, I just, I have to ask because I'm not allowed on the internet. <laughs> Is there a Claire's around here? <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm trying to get a belly button ring <laughs> that's big enough to clip my chain wallet to. <laughs> and I, I need that to heal up before Slipknot comes back to town, so. I guess I'll see you guys in the pit. <laughs> Final request, if anyone has like $80 I can have, <laughs> that might help me. In the meantime, uh, I'm, I'm very unwell, thank you. <laughs> Let's get your host back up here. Keep it going, everybody, keep it going. You ready?